Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Katana Zero. If you'd like to check out this game there is a link in the description. I absolutely love this game. I'm terrible at it, kind of, but uh, yes, it's, it's actually published by one of my favorite publishers, Devolver Digital, and well, they really know how to pick their developers. They really do. They are really good at that. Anyway, let's start a new game. Ten days remain. So, tell me again about the men in masks. Now, in this game, there are conversations. These conversations can have an effect and indeed consequences on what the game plays out like. I see. Then let's start from the beginning. I feel like the atmosphere and the immersion in this game is amazing. So, as you can see, uh, this fellow's actually shot at me right now. And I'm playing with a PlayStation 4 controller on PC using Steam Big Picture. And I'm going to be pressing square. Oh, yes, because there are bullet deflections. There's also a sort of slow motion kind of ability that you have available to you. And you can actually use that ability to dodge and do various other things. But uh, you'll see what happens as we go through. Now, this is very much, in my opinion, it's kind of Hotline Miami-esque. And I mean, that's kind of to be expected considering Devolver Digital published that game as well. But anyway, uh, yes, I'm almost there. So you have a little limited time to respond to various uh, questions and, and statements and things like that. The window of opportunity is closing. You will need to work extremely quickly. Okay, the scientist is being held somewhere within the factory. Okay, so we need to go and save the scientist. Free him and rendezvous at the extraction point post haste. Understood. And you can also cut them off as well, so you can uh, make use of your precognition. And remember, leave no survivors. Alright, I will be doing that. Anyway, we are going to try our very best to save the scientist. And, well, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so yeah, I, I decided to just shut up there for a second because the soundtrack's fantastic. Unfortunately, it's not really showing off as much as it could be right now. Ah, oh, there we go. That's when it's actually starting, but you actually do get a quick replay. You get an instant replay right after you have completed a level, so you can actually see how stylish or how foolish you ended up being. Oh yeah. And there's also lasers. There's a huge amount of lasers. How fun. Uh -huh. Yes, so you can actually avoid these by rolling through them, as you can see. And then you can turn them off. Okay, I need to be pretty quick here. Okay, so... Uh, 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 there we go. Phew. Okay, so now we can slow down time, and then we can go through by dashing through there. There we go. Yes, I'm not usually one to use the slow motion that much. There's the instant replay. Hopefully we'll see how amazingly kind of good, maybe bad I am. Who knows? But uh, yes, it took me a little bit of time to figure out the slow motion, unfortunately. So it took um, a little bit longer than anticipated. Let's see if I can get through here. Kill both of those at once. He's, he's not he's not good. I heard a commotion downstairs. We need to go now Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think I can stand hold up Okay, we should get out of here ASAP Ouch, I was starting to think I wouldn't make it. Thank you. Okay, let's go Oh That didn't really work out as intended right yes I hope we got that on tape. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure. Hi, hey boys, it's time to take out the trash. Mind the lasers. Hmm, yes. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna activate these lasers because they can't come up here otherwise. And then I'm gonna activate them again. I'm gonna turn them off and then activate them again because that means that they can't, uh, they can't come through and murder me. So yes, let's go down. If I can. And we will exit. There we go. 
We did that absolutely fine, actually. Your employers are displeased that the mission target was terminated before extraction. I believe this is scripted. I'm not entirely sure if you can save the scientist if you're a little bit quicker. Maybe that would be the case. I uh, maybe needed to skip all of the conversations. And that's the, that's the point. There are consequences for how long you take and, and what you decide to answer in these conversations. That's what makes it very interesting. Anyway, we're now back at home. And I'm going to drink some herbal tea. It's a shame it's not black tea, because I obviously, uh, you know, English, I like black tea. So, well, whatever the case, we are going to be sitting down in front of the TV. At least 12 have been reported dead or injured at an abandoned factory in the 3rd district. That was us. Among the dead is Davoud Bey, a government scientist first reported missing three weeks ago. And we're going to go to sleep. Police have released few details about the killings, but have stated that it appears to be gang-related. And now we're having a bit of a, a bit of a dream, or you could say, a nightmare. And we're actually playing catch with our little sister, I think. Oh no! What is that? Ooh, that's that's, that's some scary stuff right there. Yeah, that's definitely a nightmare. Nine days remain. All right, well, hopefully we're going to be able to do whatever it is we're able to do before that time comes. Please, come in and take a seat. Now, here's the really, really immersive thing about Katana Zero. You can actually control your character in basically every single scene in the game. There's usually not any time when you will be taken over by the by the game itself and they will control your character for you. It's always you doing all of these things. You look well, despite last night's circumstances. Shall we begin? I'm just here for my medicine. I could say, if I wanted to, uh, you know, rush him a little bit. It's been two months since we halved your dosage. Are you still experiencing hallucinations? My nightmares have returned. I see. This could be a side effect of your treatment. Tell me about the dreams. I'm surrounded by shadows. The shadow that enters the room. Tell me about that. It wasn't heading toward me, it was going toward a machine. Perhaps the shadow was the machine's operator? I think it was a scientist. It turns out it was a scientist by the looks of things. Yes, the person probably did not wish to hurt you. You shouldn't be afraid of them. Yes, I think you're right. Our time is up. Let me get your files. I know this is just a really simple scene, but have you noticed the animation quality on both of, well, obviously the main character and the psychiatrist as well? Feels so polished. You've been very cooperative this session. The dossier has information on tonight's task. We'll speak tomorrow. Right, so he's obviously our contact, basically. So he's a, he's, a, he's our psychiatrist, but also the guy that gives us all these things. So let's open up the dossier and see exactly what is inside. All right, we must destroy it after reading. Age 56, height 59, eye color brown. Josh Rose, a well-regarded tech billionaire and philanthropist, chairman of the New Mecca Foundation for Post-War Reconstruction, clandestine involvement in the movement of material and war drugs, heavily guarded. Exercise caution. All right, so let's destroy it. Just look at the animation quality. Wow. All right, uh, I, I'm, I'm very, very excited about this game. You can tell. You can tell. There are so many, so many really, really good games, and this is easily among them. All right. Hello there, can I help you? I'll just be on my way. Wow, that's such an interesting outfit. Ah, uh, it's called cosplay. Yes. Oh, I love anime. Who are you supposed to be? I could be Pinkachu, or I could be, obviously, Shinju Sakamura from X vs. X, Sakura Redux 2. Gonna say, gonna say that. Cool. Never heard of it. What's it about? It's about children's card games in a cyberpunk dystopia. 
Wow, I love card games and cyberpunk dystopias. Is it on Webflix? Ah, uh, uh, it's too patrician for Webflix. Uh, oh, I guess I'll have to search for it on the net. Well, have a good day, sir. Thanks. Yes, I'm just a cosplayer minding my own business in the murder hotel. Yes, let's move on. Alright, so it appears to be uh, maybe someone... Oh, there we go. I'm actually going to be quiet while we listen to a little bit of the soundtrack. harsh yes as you can see there's a guy that comes out of that doorway we're gonna have to be a bit careful of him and just throw something at him all right so yeah here's the thing with me usually when I'm given some kind of mechanic in a game like this slow motion thing I never use it I don't know why I think it's probably because I'm trying to be not wasteful I guess but that's ending up actually costing me a lot of well, HP. Ow. Alright, alright. I'm gonna have to do this a little bit differently. That went a little bit better, a little bit better, but now we're going to have to get into the nitty-gritty of things. Ow, he got me from so far away right there, okay. Obviously this is a one-shot, well, one-hit, one-kill game, so I die in one hit, enemies die in one hit, unless they parry you, of course. And then we can actually go behind the wall here as well, so there's even, even that kind of thing going on. Pretty crazy. And who have we here? I understand why you're here. I'm not giving you the satisfaction of killing me. Now we could kill him immediately if we wanted to. Oh, you're not who I was expecting. I'm surprised there's more than one of you left. More than one? You don't know? Well, it's no matter. We made a lot of mistakes during the war. Any last words? I regret the pain I've caused through you. Farewell. There he goes. There he goes. Stage clear. Alright, let's head out. What I am going to have to do, however, is use the elevator. I'm not a big fan of the elevator, because usually people come out of it. So I'm going to have to be... Ooh, okay. I actually did not realize it was going to be that quick. <laughs> Thought he was going to take a bit more time to come out. Okay. Stop. There are reports of gunfire in this building. Who are you? Oh, uh, that's just one of our guests. I'm a cosplayer. Well, your guest appears to be soaked in blood. How do you explain that? Cosplay. It's true. He said he was Shinjo Sakamoto from X vs. X, Sakura Redux 2. 
That guy's going to be like, what? <laughs> well then, you're just lucky the poor quality cosplay prohibition was repealed last year. You're free to go, sir. <laughs> uh, poor quality cosplay prohibition. Uh, uh, yes, amusing. Very, very amusing. Have a good day, Shinju. Thank you very much, receptionist. Thank you. I will now be leaving. Your employer is pleased with your results. Go home and rest. You'll receive your new assignment tomorrow. And I am very, very intrigued. Oh, what's that? What is behind us? Oh, what is that? Oh, ah, it's the little it's the little girl. It's the little girl from our from our nightmare by the looks of things. Hey, watch where you're going. I don't know you. Are you that really noisy neighbor? No, those are the people next to me. Oh, well, they're the worst. I live at the end of the hall. How about you? I live right next to you. Oh, that dumpy place. Well, I guess we're neighbors then. Well, this has been boring. Bye, neighbor. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me go into my apartment then. Very good. And uh, we left the TV on. That's not very good for our electricity bill, is it? Oh, well, never mind. Okay, I'm going to drink some herbal tea, and that will be the end of this episode. If you'd like to check out the game, I highly recommend it. There is a link in the description. And if you'd like to see more, then by all means, leave it down in the comments, because I'm enjoying this very much so. And, well, I thank you very much for watching and for joining me. And I will see you next time.